open Simulink library. You can start it from here, or just type Simulink command here and press enter. Now open a new Simulink model from here. Let's save it with the name inverter. Now let's add the required components from the Simulink library. But let's first have a look at the schematic diagram of a full bridge inverter. This is simple schematic diagram. Now let's add components to our model. Right click on item you want to add and then add it to the model. Just follow me. If you don't know location of a component just type the component name here and press enter. Now let connect these entire components according to the schematic diagram. To rotate a component you need to first select it, and then press Ctrl plus R. Since, here we just need a capacitor, therefore, open it by double clicking on it. You need to select RC, otherwise, you will get an error, to avoid error just select RC and give small value to R. Let rename it with battery. Also, rename it with C2.
Now, let design PWM controller for this inverter, which will operate these switches. Here, we will compare a reference sine wave with a sawtooth wave. Here the output of comparator is connected with a relay. This is used to digitize the output that is in the form of binary 1 and 0. You also need to add power GUI to your model. Double click on sine wave generator, here you have to give frequency in radian per second. To convert 50 Hz into radian just multiply it with 2 pi.
In part 2 of this video we will do FFT analysis to find out total harmonic distortion of the output sine wave. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.